And Pride Weekend was extra special for one man in particular this year. Rick Neal is an openly gay candidate running for United States Congress. Our Sean Lanier spoke with him today about how it feels to help make history. Sean. Well, that's right. Rick Neal says he's lived here in Columbus for more than 10 years and has never missed a pride parade. But he says running as a U.S. candidate this year, he says uh, for Congress, he says it, the gravity of his potential job really hit home for him. For one of Ohio's 15th district congressional candidates, he says he appreciates the opportunity this country has given him and his family. Democracy worked for me and my family, and now, of course, I just want to make it work for everybody. Rick Neal is Ohio's first openly gay person to run for United States Congress. Neal told me he remembers a few years ago when he and his husband Tom were not allowed to get married. He also remembers a time where he couldn't be the legal father to their two daughters. Here you go. America's go democracy changed that for him. Now he's a husband and a father. But his decision to run for federal office still wasn't an easy one to make. Sure, we thought about it. I had a long discussion with my husband, Tom, and, and our girls and our extended family to talk about it. But you know what? We felt that what people really wanted in this district was a fighter. As he and his family walked in the Pride Parade, he says that fight is all he could think about, the decades of fighting for the LGBTQ community. And his appreciation for everything Pride Weekend stands for here in Ohio. They're showing their support. They're showing their openness. That is the Columbus way. Everybody coming together, supporting each other. I felt that a lot this year. I thought it was fantastic. Support that he says was very present to him during this year's Pride Parade. And I'm always very proud to be able to get out there and to feel that support. It makes me feel awesome. And Neil also told me that he traveled to other Pride celebrations throughout Ohio, and it made him proud to see how inclusive Ohio is. Local for you in Columbus, Sean Lanier, NBC4. Sean.